Good morning everybody. Uh, it's about nine o'clock and I'm in the museum and I've just put up a plaque for this rather wonderful large painting original by Andrew Scaletta. So I thought this, this week's little post would highlight Andrew's work and what you've got. Andrew very kindly found this rough drawing for this lovely painting. That's from Future View. Which is from the, the Cybermen book, and that's the original artwork for the front cover text. It's a beautiful bit of work. And as you know, Andrew's works through the museum, so I thought we'll quickly have a quick run through. Do, 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 do. Run through here, and I'll show you a few of the other bits of work that Andrew's done in here. And here we have Field Major Steyer, and Andrew's book plate for that. Again, you can see where all the text would have gone on the page in the, in the sky. He deliberately left blank to accommodate that. My favourite villain of all time. Love Steyer. Love his mask. Again, gorgeous painting. And here we have beautiful um, grayscale um, Seeds of Death cover painting. Uh, sorry, not cover painting. From the Monsters Inside uh, book plate. First page uh, book plate. And you'll probably recognize this if you're a classic Whovian. Uh, this is Andrew's cover rough for Megopolis. And I remember buying that VHS from the BBC shop when I was a student with hardly any money. And it was just like magic getting those VHSs and they came out about every two weeks or every week, if I remember rightly. I remember that very clearly. Just peeping through there. Here's a lovely little drawing, uh, interior illustration by Andrew of Gundam, which is rather nice. Moving through from the Who Dares calendar, one of the Who Dares calendars, I'm trying to remember which year it is, uh, sort of mid 80s, we've got an original Davros um, painting. And again, lovely when you get these rough illustrations. I'm a teacher uh, when I'm not here in the museum, and it's great to be able to take these in and show children because often the roughs get thrown away, and it's just lovely to be able to show the children. No, these these you know artwork like this doesn't just appear. There's a step, you know, steps and stages that um, they go through, and it's great to be able to see that process and then share it with pupils. And I've been very lucky um, to get a couple of Andrew's Thunderbirds um, paintings. And this is again, beautiful airbrushed work with featuring the Mistrons and Thunderbird one. In the 90s, there was a resurgence in Thunderbirds and this was Thunderbirds comic, uh, which came out when BBC Two started showing the old episodes again. And that was a massive, uh, increase in popularity and there's also Space Precinct came out and this is one of Andrew's original covers and uh, very kindly John Hogg and the Doctor Who Collectors Club got me another one which will be going on display very soon. This is a bit special really, this is the HG Wells uh, book plate from the Monsters book which features the Ice Warriors because they're Martians obviously. When I knew I was going to open a museum, I had the chance to get this from Andrew and I jumped at it because I thought, wow, this is a published painting of H.G. Wells and it has the Doctor Who theme. And I just thought it was perfect. And what a great painting to kick off the museum with. So that's all for now from the museum. Just to say, I hope you all have a really lovely Christmas. And uh, thank you for everyone who's visited. It's been great. I've had some great chats. It's what's one of the nicest thing about this job is I'm actually getting to meet people who uh, love sci-fi as much as I do and just reminiscing it's just lovely and uh, just a little reflection there Andrew's work which um, really really lights up the museum so for now goodbye